Hello, I'm the new Michio, and NASA's LOSCO Solar Probe managed to photograph three I Atlas, even though it was, in quotes, behind the sun. And the images are here, and they resulted in this post on the Medium blog. But it wasn't Avi Loeb who wrote it, it was David Sarita here. I brought his text here before. He wrote here about the interesting geometry that 3i Atlas presents in these images. Dennis, oh, I'm going to read his text here. I'm going to comment on a few things on the observations he makes about this question of the geometry of 3i Atlas, the geometry and the size, which is what caught his attention in the text. So this will be one of the topics. Another topic that we will address today will be this really cool text about the search for life outside Earth that was published in Universe today, which is based on an article that will also be here in the description below. Reminder, all my research sources are always here in the description below for you who are watching to check out as well. So let's comment on this article here that asks, are we in the universe's loneliness zone? Is that why we can't find any sign of life? So these are the topics I will cover in today's video. If you want to support the channel, you like my work and want to support it, it's very easy. Just leave a like below or a comment, which already helps a lot for YouTube to understand that this video has engagement and spread it to more and more people that I leave my thanks here. Today's video is packed with information for you. Now let's go talk about today's science information. So let's talk about the universe, my friends. Remembering that the comments you send, I'm always reading your comments here, will be at the end of the video, all right? So let's start then with this Universe Today article, which has as its theme the search for life outside Earth. And what are they proposing here? Title, Are We in the Universe's Loneliness Zone? A new study published in Acta Astronautica, signed by Antalvaris from the Hungarian University of Agriculture, proposes the concept of the loneliness zone, a statistical range where there is a greater chance of there being only one civilization of a certain technological level in the universe instead of several or none. So he is proposing here that each region of the universe may have a zone where only one technological civilization can exist, being alone there. The model combines classic ideas from astrobiology such as the Fermi paradox, which questioned where all the aliens are, the great filter, which are improbable stages of evolution, such as the emergence of life and all that, and the Kardashev scale, which measures technological advancement, used here by the use of energy of each alien civilization. It also expands, and does it apply to us too? We haven't even reached number one on the Kardashev scale. And it also expands the Drake equation to the entire universe, considering about $10 carat, $24 potentially habitable planets, many potentially habitable planets in the universe, and as tested for scenarios. In the extremes, easy life, or almost impossible life. The chance of us being alone is practically zero. Oh, that's optimistic for those who have the hope of detecting life outside Earth. But in the intermediate scenario of the rare Earth hypothesis, where complex life is extremely unlikely, but possible, there is about a 29% to 30% probability of us being alone in this range of complexity. The conclusion of this article that is here, I'll leave it here below in the description, is that although it is unlikely that we are the only civilization in the universe, civilizations much much more advanced than ours tend to enter their own loneliness zone, simply because it is rare for two to reach the same technological level at the same time. It's something I always say here on the channel. The article is here for anyone who wants to check it out later. So they say, right, that it is quite unlikely that we are alone in the universe. But for two technological civilizations to coexist in the same region of the universe, it is quite unlikely. According to these calculations, these models that were made, it's something I've already commented on with you. The universe is 13.8 billion years old. That is a long time. So, civilizations may have emerged, evolved, and ended without us ever knowing about them. We are here. Modern humans have been here for a little over 200,000 years, and that is very little compared to the age of the universe. So, several alien civilizations may have emerged but at very separate times. And so, if one exists coexisting with us and a technological civilization coexisting, it may be very, very far away here in another corner of the universe. So, it would be very difficult for them to contact each other. That's what this study is proposing here. I'll leave it here below in the description for anyone who wants to read it. Now, folks, let's talk about the 3i atlas, right? That it was photographed by NASA's LOSCO probe. 
Let's go. This graph is very interesting for us to see where the position of 3i atlas is. Here are the dates. Earth is here in blue and 3i atlas is here, right? Let me start the animation again here for you to see more or less where it is at this moment. So let's go. It's leaving. This is back to June. February, June. It was here, August, September. We are here. It's still visible. October, look. We are here and it is behind the sun, look, in relation to Earth. Then in November, it will reappear to us again. Then the LOSCO probe, which is a solar probe, is there monitoring the sun. It took images of 3i Atlas. Where is 3i Atlas? Well, here is the sun, the image. In this region is 3i Atlas, October 2025. Then they zoomed in, and here it is. This little dot here is 3i Atlas. And it was a huge feat to have managed to capture 3i Atlas in this image. Then there was this post here that gave a zoom on the image and discovered this configuration here, these images here. I'm going to read his text and comment with you here on some observations he is making here about the geometry, size, and everything else. Look, October 20th, 2025, Interstellar Comet 3i Atlas was ideally positioned to be captured by NASA's LOSCO Solar Telescope, an instrument aboard the SOHO probe that observes the solar corona by blocking its direct light. Some users noticed a widespread internet outage on the same day. Then he says that, wow, on the day 3i Atlas was captured, the internet went down. People complained about the internet going down. Only this is a common coincidence, folks. Major global network outages are generally caused by failures in submarine cables and providers and not by astronomical events. So it has nothing to do with the passage of 3i Atlas in the way the text is suggesting here, then continuing here. He talks about the absence of the SDO and the mystery of the images. The Solar Dynamic Observatory, the SDO, and other NASA solar observatories have been offline since September 13, 2025, due to a technical failure. Then he insinuates here in the text that it is very strange, right, for these solar observatories to be turned off at such a crucial moment. Only this is normal, folks, in long missions. This observatory, the Solar Dynamic Observatory, has more than 15 years of operation. So, sometimes it stops. This is not rare, it is even frequent. It is normal for a probe that has been working for so long. And then he tries to correlate it as a coincidence in relation to the passage of 3i Atlas. But this always happens, there is a history of it. You can go to the Solar Observatory website and there will be the times it was out of operation. Then some claim that NASA edited the LOSCO images to hide 3i Atlas, but he says here in the text that this is unlikely. In practice, LOSCO frequently suffers from compression artifacts, saturation by charged particles, and noise and cosmic ray detection. I've brought here some that were near the sun, remember? I recently brought a video that had found UFOs around the sun, something like that, and it was all noise. All this that I'm talking about, charged particles, everything else that people thought were UFOs and that were there in public NASA articles. Because if it was something strange, it posted it there and didn't notice. But anyway, this is common, folks. These structures appear in the images of LOSCO of these solar observatories. Then there is the part where he talks about the geometry. What he is talking about here. Let me zoom in on the image. The most recent image shows 3i Atlas as a diffuse spot near the sun. Comparisons with captures made by ESA, ExoMars, and Mars Express circulate online suggesting that the object would be planetary in size, something impossible. So 3i Atlas, folks, according to the most recent estimates that were captured of it, measures only a few hundred meters in diameter. Some people say between 500 m, well, a few hundred meters in diameter, not something the size of a planet, especially because this would shake, as the song says, the orbits of the planets, and that is not happening. While the LOSCO coronagraphic filters amplify and distort the brightness, creating light halos and optical artifacts that may seem gigantic. So this here is all an artifact of the filters used here to generate the images. And this is the same as taking an image with a very low resolution and trying to zoom in a lot, it will look weird especially because 3i Atlas in this case would be changing shape. Here it is appearing, I don't know about. Here, that Star Wars ship, Starfighter. I don't remember its name now, but anyway, that Empire ship there from Star Wars. So no, 
This here is an artifact generated due to the coronagraphic filters. Then he also talks here in the text about the disappearance and return of the object. In some frames, the object disappears between minute 842 and 9.6 and reappears at 9 minutes and 42. Later, it disappears again at 15 minutes and 5. These intervals coincide. Then there is a part here in the text where he talks about the disappearance and return of the object. Three I atlas would have disappeared, reappeared. Then he says here, look, in some frames, the object disappears between 842 minutes and 96 minutes and reappears at 942. Later, it disappears again at 1505. These intervals, folks, coincide with the automatic adjustments, exposure, and calibration of the coronagraph that I just mentioned here, besides the passage of solar particles and coronal mass ejections that saturate the sensor. So this is in accordance with what is expected from this type of instrument. There is nothing wrong here. When the software filters these noises, the object can disappear from one sequence and reappear in the following one, without anything strange having erased it. So it is normal. It is part of it here. Whoever analyzes these images from Soho and everything else a lot is already used to seeing this kind of thing. He mentions Avi Loeb at the end here. The astrophysicist Loeb commented that if 3I Atlas were an artificial interstellar ship, it could launch mini probes in gravitational maneuvers close to the sun. But Loeb himself mentions, he quotes that now is not the right moment for 3I Atlas to release mini probes. He mentions this, this claim by Abby Loeb. Only Loeb himself treated this as a pedagogical hypothesis, okay? In his first article, he talks about a pedagogical hypothesis to illustrate how advanced civilizations could use solar gravity, the so-called Oberth maneuver, which he always mentions, and not as an assertion that 3i Atlas is artificial. He repeated everything I'm saying. Whenever he can on his blog, he says that all this is a hypothesis and so on, only people take it out of context. In the initial article itself, where he starts talking about this hypothesis of 3i Atlas being a ship, he says it is a pedagogical exercise, you understand? So the guy uses it here and that's it? I had already analyzed a text by this guy here on Medium, and he had also made some very fanciful claims. I think he had correlated 3i Atlas with the apparitions of Fatima. I didn't even want to go into detail on this issue, because that's a matter of belief. So everyone has their own, so I won't interfere, but he correlated it. So you can understand that this guy here has a somewhat fanciful view of 3i Atlas. I don't say fanciful, but perhaps a more wild speculation, as people like to use in scientific articles, about 3i Atlas. But everything I'm saying here, folks, is based on articles related to discoveries made by these satellites and everything else. I'll leave everything here below in the description. Everything I'm saying here has a source. I have my research source here below for you to check everything I'm saying. I'm not discrediting what the guy is saying. I'm just showing here what actually happens in the images that are captured by Lasco. So everything he presents here corresponds to the methodology of this satellite. All right, so everything will be here below in the description. I'll also leave his text here for you to read and draw your own conclusions about what he is saying here about 3i Atlas. So that's it, folks. So we have the image of 3i Atlas here captured by, where is it? Here, look. Uh, no, here by Lasco. 3i Atlas is here, people say, uh, NASA is stopped. No, NASA hasn't stopped, folks. It just has fewer people working there because of the lockdown, that's all. But it hasn't stopped, folks. It's working there. And here it is, look. Now let's see, look, for November, December. It will be here, folks. It will be here, look. January, it will be going away. Then it will pass close to Jupiter when they might use the Juno probe to try to observe it which I think is difficult, because the Juno probe, folks, is already quite old. It's already low on fuel, so any maneuver to make it do something other than its primary mission could be a risk both for Juno, as it could get lost in space, and for the frustration of not being able to photograph three I Atlas the way we would like. So I don't know NASA, JPL, which administers the Juno mission. I don't know if they will end up accepting this observation proposal, but I will keep an eye on it here monitoring. When there is any update on this, I'll bring it to you. As soon as 3i Atlas comes out from behind the sun, new data will come. Everything that comes out about 3i Atlas, I'll bring it here for you so you don't miss anything. You already know.
subscribe to the channel, all right? I'm going to end this video here. Bye.